Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, today I am working um, a little more on the um, Woodland um, Christmas journal, uh, altered file folder journal. And um, I've done a few things and I'll just like uh, quickly show that. And then I want to make this pocket. So I thought I'd share that with you. The rest of it I'm going to probably uh, finish uh, off camera and it'll be ready to um, be listed because this is basically sewing in here and the pocket I want to make is for here and let's see so uh, let me show you what I did okay that that wasn't it this is it all right you see this button here and it kind of looks funny when it's just by itself but this is the closure that I've come up with I put a uh, magnet under this paper and behind. Okay, it's a little puffy, but it, it's okay. And then my intention was to take this string and go around this button and back up again. Okay, but that did not work because it would not hold it down tight enough. So um, since I had all this on, this is sewed on and glued in here so you don't have to worry about it coming off i hope um so anyway the magnet holds the top part and then this is going to go around like this like that okay and that will hold it closed and that's that's going to be all oh i still need to cover this i don't know it just keeps there is a lot of pages on here it just uh, and i put this little metal snowflake there Okay, so the pocket I wanna do um, is gonna go here. This is gonna have, this is gonna be sewn. So I have a lot of things to sew, still pockets and things like that. But um, yeah, so here it is, this place. So what I have to do is make sure that it's going to fit in this area that I have available. So what I was, um, I saw this uh, done, uh, well, it's not exactly, I'm sure, the way it was done because I don't remember where I saw it, but I do know it was one of those scrapbooking uh, type um, ladies that do, you know, just scrapbooking. It could have been uh, several years ago. It could have been yesterday. I don't know because I just, like I said, I wasn't really paying attention it just came up and I started to watch it and then I gave it a try on a scrap paper I had and I think it's going to work. So I'm going to cut this four inches high. Um, is that going to be tall enough? Hold on a second. Let me see. Four inches. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, four inches. So I guess you could cut this at any height you want. I hope that's a four inch. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, you could cut it a little taller, uh, maybe shorter, I don't know. Okay, so that's cut. This page here was um, originally, um, well, it's 10 and a half. Um, but there was a lot of white around it. This is from uh, Carol Tenson and um, her digitals print out, um, you know, in a smaller format. So I cut around all the edges, but you can use, actually she had a 12 by 12 because she's a scrapbook uh, maker. Okay, so then let's see how this all goes. This gets folded and I did mine double-sided. Let me ink this before I put it together. Um, I was checking to see if I turn my timer on. I don't want it to be that too long. My friend was here um, all morning and part of the afternoon, and we worked on this. Came up with some ideas for it, especially that closure. It wasn't it wasn't anything the way I planned it to be, but um, that's what it came out like. So. Um, oh, I should have done this side too. a little bit. 
I didn't want to cut this until I got started. Maybe I did ink it already. <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing this too long today. Okay, so there we go there. Now we need to fold one side in. Well, the side that you want to be the outside needs to be on the bottom. Okay, so I want this to show on the front and this one will be in the inside. So you can fold it wherever you want. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this because this is gonna uh, come over. I think that's too much. I think I only wanna fold this um, like an inch maybe. Let me just kind of get a, I, I don't know what her measurements were, but let's say this, we're going to fold this an inch. And if I do it wrong, I'll just do another one, I guess. Okay. Then this one here is going to fold over to about half of that mark. So about a half an inch. And then it's going to fold back this way. Okay, so then this part is going to fold back this way. Now, when you um, fold this back and you want, this is gonna be a tuck. So let's say you have a piece that you want to fit in that tuck like this. If you make it too shallow, it might stick out too far, but that's okay if that's what you want. Or if you make it too deep, then maybe whatever you want to put in this little side pocket would be um, missing. Actually, it's gonna go in from this way, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this back. So we started with, um, oop, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I did it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. I have to make it fit inside of here. Oh, darn. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna have to have that mark there. Oh, I can't believe I did that. That was the first thing I was trying to remember to do. Okay. This it doesn't really matter where it ends up. This little fold part. But you can leave a bigger opening in here if you have a wider, oh, it's crooked again a wider space, okay? I'm not gonna glue anything down until I know that, you know, I can uh, distress that or make it look right. Okay, so then, oh, let's see, I wanted to round the corners. Um, let's see, I guess I'll just use this. Now let's do the seven millimeters. I never can get it right without turning it upside down. Not the paper, the, is that the seven? No. I never get it like right in the little place. see how that that looks yeah that's fine just that much so I hope everybody's doing well and crafting away that's what I've been doing okay so it looks more complicated I think than it really is so then we're going to glue this shut I just kind of wished I had a little bit more gap here. Um, I mean, I could have cut it off, I suppose, but I'm just gonna leave it that way for this one. Okay, then this gets glued down here. Okay, and then this one gets glued down here. 
Okay, you got that? So basically grew the bottom of this, this flap, and then the bottom down. And that is your pocket. Now you just need to embellish it. Get that. Okay. So let's see, what can I I don't have very much left, but you can put um, this card like this in front or an, something down at the bottom, which allows you to, let's take this card, you could put something in here, you could put something in there, you could put something back here, and then you can put something, a whole tag in there, okay? So you can embellish it with uh, something even as big as that um, or something small like this. Let's see what would look good on that page. I kind of like this one that says January 1st on it. But, all right, so that would sit on there like that. And, or you, you know, you could just even put a collage on here, but I'm telling you what, I'm running out of room uh, in this journal. I'm running out of um, space to keep adding. I wish now, if, if you have not made this, I would do the three quarter inch spine. And that way it just allows for so much more. Um, that's kind of cute there. I was thinking about it. I don't know what that butterfly has to do with woodland, but that is sort of cute there. Okay, and I was thinking a bigger tag. I might have to make one. I can't use this tag. I haven't found a place for it yet because it's so blue and white. It just doesn't kind of go. All right, so we could do that. Um, we could put, let it snow up here. I kind of like that. Let me um, ink this and see how it will look. Inked. And we have, you know, we can put all kinds of little things on it. All right. I wanted to use this butterfly just because I think it's really cute, but it you know, it doesn't quite, I don't know where the theme comes from. Okay, so let's, maybe, butterfly down at the bottom. And let it snow. Um, let's see, I was thinking maybe something like that. Um... And remember, we're going to have little tags sticking in and out of it. So it really is not that big of an issue. Uh, what you put in this background. I don't know. Maybe... I don't think I want that kind of lace. Um, if anything, I want like this color. Let's see. Uh, this one, I think I'm gonna put on the outside of the book, on the spine area. So. Kinda like that. Raggedy looking. I think that's I think that's cute. All right. So and where I folded it, I don't think it's that noticeable now. That extra little tiny fold in there. So let's put this down here. All right. 
it. I can't remember where it was. So that's got to go there. So I don't know if I want to do another Christmas one or not. I do have a couple more Christmas uh, digitals kits, but you know, they're not your standard Christmas Christmas. One is frozen winter, I think, or something. I could even do that in January, really. I don't think it even pertains to Christmas. It's just a winter. Okay. And then there's a little Sobo glue back here. I've been wanting to use this Let It Snow. And I finally got a place for it. Okay, doke. So now we can just um, glue around the pockets. So that was a very simple, like pocket to make, but it has a little more character than just a plain pocket or. Um, um uh, like a library card pocket. That's what I'm trying to think of. Okay. Stick that on there. And the one she did, it was a lot more open. Like there was another, this whole part was open. Like a, another half inch. Because you can make it as wide as you want. Okay, so that's that. And I need to put um, a tag up here. This one, um, it's got a backing on it, so all I have to do is I think I might want something bigger than this, though. I sold the um, junk mail junk journal, and I actually sold it twice. Um, I'm not very good at the well, I'm getting better because it's very embarrassing to sell the same journal two times. And that's what happened because I thought when I sold it, the first thing I did was run to my website and remove it or put sold. And I guess I didn't, I thought it was done deal. Sold and I clicked on it, but I guess I didn't save it. So somebody else bought it. And um, I just feel bad about that. And I, I refunded her money and everything, but still, it's like embarrassing. So I have to be very, very careful um, selling on that. Okay, so we have that little pocket there. And then this is open, so you could, you know, slip in something there. You can slip this in here. We could slip a couple little things in there. I guess we could put even this in there. Or do I like that just without this? Oh, I guess it's fine. It seems like it should be a little taller. See, this is pretty shallow, this side, so that might be a better option to do it sideways and then I'll ink that up and they'll be able to see it and then this actually could go up in here if I wanted 
I don't have anything, I don't think I have anything tiny to put in that. Um, like a, oh, I had a stamp. Where'd it go? Here. Is that small enough? No, it's too small. Hmm. Um, hold on, let me just... Look. Oh, come on. All the way over. I have these little guys. They're small. That just doesn't look right, does it? This is just paper, so that wouldn't work. So anyway, it's up to you as to, you know, what you want to put. Well, that covers up the butterfly, but I kind of, I want, I want to use this. I just don't know where. And, okay, so I'm going to leave that right there. I may, um... I may do something different with this. I, I think I wanted a taller, a taller tag. It's not quite wide enough, but I can cut that down a little. Yep. So just looking to see if there's anything else that works. I'm almost out of everything. Um, really am out. Um, okay. I was thinking of this. How much time do I have? Oh, I have time. I just do not like this. It's the first page that you see when you open it. This is fine, but this is just so um, empty. And I feel like if I put a collage on there too, I'm going to end up with so much more thickness because now I have this pocket. Still closing okay, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What can I do here, you guys? Here and here. Um unless I find maybe something that would be better on the back. Hmm. Um, I, could, I guess just glue this in the middle, but I don't like that too much. Um, it really needs to just be something that's probably around the edge, which I don't know. Uh, let's see, I could place trim on the edges. put this on one edge it just it does help you know it, it makes it give it another
If I do something like that, it really needs to be more of a colorful color, I think. Well, I can't think about it because I can't think of it. I can't think of something offhand that would work. Um, offhand, I would want to take these out and redo them and put some focal point right there. Something that would jump out and um, this feel like it doesn't even go with this journal it's just it was in the kit but it doesn't it doesn't excite me book page nope I can't come up with something right now I think uh, my head is exhausted today these cute little things but and this was in the kit and um, it is just I don't know it just doesn't it doesn't go for me it's not what I'm I thought I had another one of these holly leaves The other things on this are too cutesy. So, um, for this journal, because it's, it's a woodland journal. I guess I could go and get another kit from a collage type. I think she might have actual woodland character, you know, care, uh, woodland uh, animals. By themselves Holly's not is generic right <laughs> I'm not even gonna worry about getting these just perfect because as long as they're kind of pointed is all that matters Um, so is everybody getting their Thanksgiving stuff ready? Went to Hobby Lobby and I got the paper plates and all that stuff. And um, I take my mom next Wednesday to get the groceries for it because that's her favorite thing is shopping for groceries. And I haven't taken her for a long time because it's just too much it but I'll do it for Thanksgiving but it I can't convince her to do the um, like online grocery shopping she just doesn't enjoy that I guess but she's gonna be 90 so just different age different time and I told her, I, you know, if the day is, if next week is really nasty days, we can, at the last resort, order online. So, we'll see. <laughs> she said, I want to pick out the turkey. And I'm like, they're all the same. They're in one package, Butterball. <laughs> so... All right, so I was thinking maybe something simple that could break that up. Up or down, I don't know which, if there's any place that's more, looks better than that place. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna put something behind it, like, um, I just had a piece of the cloth. 
I love this cheesecloth I got. It looks like the authentic stuff. Like, oh, those scissors are worthless. Um, what did I do with my other ones? I just had them. This doesn't rip. I kind of like it. I kind of like that on there. I think I need to cut this up away a little. A little too far stuck out, but I don't know. Is there a way up or down on this? Maybe that way looks better. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. That takes care of one side. Let's see, I'll just put it on there. Ooh. I keep thinking that's the cloth to clean off my hands. All right, I'm going to use um, this glue here. Car glitter. It's going to be glued down to paper. to go pretty quick here because my back is going to start hurting. I can just feel like coming on. So, so I've been lasting a little bit longer than I normally do, but by the end of the day. Okay, so I mean, it takes a little of it not being so plain. And then I'll have to do something on this side. I'll have to find something, which um, I think I might have another one of those hollies and put that on the other side. I mean, I could put something like this, so. Um, I think this is very bulky. Now, I like that. The little holly. I think that looks good. I could put a word down here, huh? What word do I have? Okay. Christmas. That's kind of nice. It actually goes well with that. I ripped this off a page because um, I thought I might need a word or something. gonna put anything under it. I'm just gonna do it like this. 
I don't want to block the little deer off. Oh, rabbit's right there. Okay. That's cute. And then up in that corner, I don't know, but I thought this might be a good word down in this one. Some stamps. I cut all these stamps out and I wanted, was hoping to use them. All right, I'm not gonna put this in yet because I don't know where it's gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna scrub this up a little bit. one of those shredder things. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that there and see what I want to put up at the other top part. Okay. Oh, I was thinking, well, that one... Hmm. So I was thinking this one would be good. This is a bright Christmas, though. I mean, yeah. Words. And more words. Oh, there's the other holly. Well, let's just do that, right? Put one on each corner. Put this in there. be done. Okay. A little bit of you can glue down to that. So has everybody got their art glitter glue before winter? Because <laughs> you need it. I think I have enough to last, I hope. If I don't, I will be using other stuff. I tried to get my Amazon um, set up and I, I don't know how to. Now it wants me to have a brand. Sign up for registration for a brand. And, you know, if I did have a brand, I, you know, that would be fine, but I don't. Um, so I got to figure that out because I really like to have at least the Amazon affiliate program. Oh, why did I do that? I need to put the, this down here. Everything went on the floor. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for today. The next time I share this, I plan to have it done. And I'll do a flip through. Okay, so um, I think that turned out really cute, that pocket. I'll go around and sew on this stuff and all that. But I like the idea of the, the way the pocket is. And... Um, you know, if it was a bigger, because see, let's see, this one here can hold a whole tag as well as one behind it. So maybe that's what I'll do. This one is 
Is it in the same slot? No, this one has its own slot also. Okay, so yeah, there's like one, two, three pockets. And then on this side, if you had something that you would like to put in there, you have um, four. Alrighty, so um, like I said, that's, that's going to be it. All right, so I will see you guys in the flip through. I hope the magnet's going to hold. Basically, once um, once I tie it up, the magnet holds fine. Yeah. That needs a little more ink up there. I noticed that when I was closing it earlier. It's funny because it's like it doesn't want to take it. I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. Alrighty, you guys have a great uh, rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.